Friends, welcome back to another New World video. Today, we're going to be reacting, watching the uh, What's Next for New World. This is a developer update video. They typically upload these videos every Monday. I don't know if we're going to get one next Monday because it's Christmas. Uh, but we've got Scott Lane here looking very jolly. It's a nine-minute video, and it, it seems to be talking about the future of New World. Taking a little bit of a look at the spoilers here, we have an intro section. They're talking about cross-server, new artifacts, seasonal trials, seasonal events, main story quest fully updated, gamepad support, which is a pretty big deal. This could lead into console, which I've thought could be a thing. Um, performance improvements, bug fixing, combat balance. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get too excited, but I am feeling a little bit excited. It feels like things are a little bit glum right now in New World. Uh, so fingers crossed this is going to give us, I don't know, some positivity and something to look forward to for New World in 2024. Uh, with that being said, if you guys want to watch this video yourself, YouTube, I'll link it in the description down below. Twitch chat, I'll link it at the end of this video. Let's see what Scott has to say. Let's go. Hello, everybody. We are here today to give you an update on New World. Okay. I am joined by Scott and Dave. Scott and Dave. And uh, behind the camera is the puppet master, Mr. Lovin, who did an amazing job on the last video thank you it was pretty and funny the, the puppet scott um and chuck <laughs> <laughs> who's chuck wow. um so uh today you know i know i know there's uh, big expectations for us to come out with a roadmap and full disclosure we are going to give you some information on what's coming okay but it's not going to be the full 2024 roadmap no okay um, for what it's worth, 2024 take... is a big year. We have massive uh, expectations for the year and a lot we're working on. Okay. The thing is, Sounds we're going to wait a few months to give you the, a lot of that details because, because quite frankly, we we announced the full roadmap. Did like... you say a few months? We have to wait a few months for the full roadmap? Wait, hold on. Rewind. That de a lot we're working on. The thing is, we're going to wait a few months to give you the oh, a lot man. of that details because, because quite frankly, we're we going to wait. We announced the full roadmap last year for 2023, and we missed a lot of stuff near the end because mm -hmm. the longer term prediction is it's hard, especially when yeah. you're adding like, you know, big chunks of work. So they announced the roadmap for 2023. This year's roadmap 2023 was announced in February. So if they're saying that, that it's gonna be a few months and, and they thought February was too late, then we might not get the roadmap until, what, what's after February chat? March, April, May, sometime around then? Um, if they thought February for the roadmap was too early, then yeah, we could be waiting until March. Probably, probably April. Probably not until season five. We'll see though. So our plan today is to give you a lot of information on what's coming between now and May. And then now in May, um, in May, we're going to do another one of these and we're committing right now to telling you everything that you're going to get for the rest okay, of the well, year. Okay, well, we, we, all right. There's like this I said, we have a roadmap in May then it so seems. I'm pretty excited about it. Big announcement. Huge. So we got to wait. We got it five months for With the roadmap. that, let's dive into what's coming up in the short term. Uh, so this first one, we've talked about a fair amount already. So I'll go pretty quickly on it. It's cross world expeditions with improved group finder. Mm -hmm. um, Excited for this. I think this is going to change the game. I think just finding groups faster is what we all want. Yeah. One click to get in, no like linking gear, nothing. One click and I'm in. That's the goal here. Get you into the content quick and have fun. And, and it sounds good, but man, you, you know that you're going to press one click and I hope they have some sort of system to detect, you know, imagine you load in and just it's five people with a life staff. <laughs> like you arrive into Empyrean Forge and you've got five people with a life staff. Uh, fingers crossed it's going to have some sort of roll queue finder or something like that. Words for helping other people too is going to yep. be huge. Yeah, especially for the harder to find, you know, uh, I'm not saying tanks or healers are hard oh, they, to find. They did say there was going to be a roll queue. They'll get they? extra rewards if they deem it appropriate. Um, we have eight new artifacts coming out. Um, you guys have a favorite? They're already here, right? You go first. Okay. This, this was recorded. Um, my favorite's going to be, I think it's called Tempest Fury. And it's the uh, Great Axe where you just get to keep spinning and spinning and spinning. And oh, roll these roll are and new, new awesome. artifacts. I like that. And it's important to note, it's the second Great Axe we've had. So a oh. couple of weapons we're doing a second version of. Spin to win. we're doing like a different gameplay. That's going to be a you know, fortifying versus, whirlwind sort of uh, thing then. This. Whirlwind Great Axe. Uh, my favorite is actually a pair of gauntlets uh, where as you use them, you get these stacks that make your heavy attacks uh, more powerful. So it sort of like oh. changes the game. It's God, really dude, for, that's going to be so good, good for a great sword. You get that momentum going. Yeah, and Jeez, it can... dude, as if Greatsaw didn't need some more buffs. <laughs> oh my god, this gonna sounds gross. Get heavy attacks, do more and more damage, combine it with Serenity. Holy flip. We use, like, if you're a fireball guy with those heavy, or bow, like, lots of... Yeah, it works in fireball tree with bow lots as well. I was thinking melee for some reason. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it affects all heavy attacks. <laughs> hmm. um, 
All right, we have a, another one of our season trials. That sounds out. cool. This one is a ten-person one. It's Ooh. a winter rune forge, and we actually, uh, you know, we played it today. Ten-person dungeon um, thing. And it's 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 pretty cool. It's hard. Uh, it's it's difficult right now. We'll see if you know if it eases up a little bit by the time we ship. But it's pretty exciting. Nice. Yeah, I think what I like about these pieces content is it's ten-person. They don't take super long, right? Like the goal of these is that you can get you know, in and out in sort of 10 to 15 minutes once yeah. you learn the mechanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think especially the final fight in this, you know, we, we literally just played a review of it today. Like, it's very mechanic rich, uh, lots of things for everyone to do, important coordination. Uh, I think it's just a... For context, uh, the, the last time that they, they have had a 10-person seasonal trial before chat, it's uh, this thing over here. I don't know how many of you guys have done it because it's not really super relevant content for uh the expansion onwards they kind of it doesn't really make sen much sense you can do it for um like what, what's the word you can do it for dark matter but outside of that there's not really any reason but it's pretty cool it's quite casual um you know it's casual friendly and you can jump in and do it for dark matter so uh they decided that this was originally just gonna be here for season two and then rotate out but they decided to keep it as a permanent fixture i think it's a good idea um, it's a shame that it doesn't really see that much use these days, but if they're going to bring in another one of these, I think it'd be a good piece of content. Let's go. Fun, fun trial. And it's nice, you know, as these get further into the release, people can start pugging them and it yeah, becomes more sure. doable. And it's a, it's a, it's another fun on demand moment. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, this is the second time we've done a seasonal trial. And I think with the hatchery, I think it was super fun content, but that's the what rewards, I just said. No, we're, let's just say we're lacking. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. The, they weren't worth the time you had to put in to get them. I will say though, why not make the rewards better? You you can go in and adjust the rewards. Why not do that, Amazon? You know, and then we you can bring back some of the old content because you put all this time and effort and work into the hatchery and the sandworm, and nobody does it. So I mean, designing a new piece of content is cool, but you could just go back and update the rewards as well. You know, just saying, there's a little 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 hint, maybe a little, a little suggestion. <laughs> uh, and the other thing I wanted to say is. I'm glad that they're not doing another new dungeon chat. Finally, I mean, uh, you know, I do like my expeditions, but man, it's just every update, like new expedition, new expedition, new expedition, new expedition. I wonder if they're going to mention a new outpush rush map <laughs> at some point. Uh, so we learned that and uh, uh, we're really pushing the rewards. I think, you know, one of the things we'll do is we used to have a reward for the first seven times you did it a week. That number is going to come down a lot, like into the one to three range, so we can really punch up the rewards. Mm -hmm. uh, so it should be cool. Um, we have uh, some seasonal events coming. You want to walk us through those, Dave? Uh, yeah, we have a couple of returning Spring ones and bloom. some new ones. So Legacy of Crassus will be coming back. We have a brand new one called Year of Dragon that I think will be great. Uh, and the then dragon. some other returning favorites, uh, Rabbit's Revenge, uh, Springtide Bloom. Uh, obviously, Spring with these, bloom. You know, the game has changed, so the reward schemes and all these will change. Uh, so those are some of the cool events coming up. Yeah, and we're going to do a... Uh, Forged in Eternum episode, I believe, Mr. Levin, on Year of the Dragon coming up very soon. He gave the thumbs up, so that's a yes. Oh, it's going to be next week uh, then? I can't get or him. Maybe on Wednesday? Now. I'll keep trying. Um, of course, there's going to be more seasons, passes, and, se and rewards for every season. Mm -hmm. Woo! Uh, the MSQ is going to be finished, you know, and this was one of those that I mentioned earlier that we were hoping to have done uh, in 23, but it's going to move into the first part of 24. Um, it's something we're like, like really excited about, and I think it's going to be... MSQ is main story quest line for anybody who doesn't understand the abbreviation. The main story, really basically, with, with Isabella. Are you, you re-rolling a new character to play the whole experience through? At least one. With yeah. fresh out servers. Yeah, at least one, yeah. Um, and there's another feature coming out that Ooh. Ooh. we haven't talked about yet, which is full gamepad support. Uh, we're In pretty a, excited about that. Yeah, and, dude. Whoever saw the gamepad up there, one of these episodes was not totally wrong. Um, it was Jay. But I think it's feeling really good with the gamepad support. It's going to come some, you know, some other changes to the game. You want to talk about? Yeah, those absolutely. Ones? I mean, I think Aim the idea here is we want to natively support the controller. I think you know this will be our version one. We will continue to improve like the uh, the experience, but for version one, like we're really focused on the gameplay elements, uh, and I think it's playing super well. Uh, you know, we have things like lock-on now, which will completely change the way the game plays. Oh. Uh, we have various assists to make it easier to hit with projectiles and aim on oh. control. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it feels good. Some different mappings, depending on whether you're range, melee, or how you like to play. This is going to become a very contentious topic. I'm calling it now. <laughs> the, the aim assist, the musket bow. 
Here we go, chat. We're about to enter a new era. I'm telling you though, the reason why the event you should see Twitch chat right now. <laughs> Kevin Jack, we managed to get Twitch chat on the on the video for this. <laughs> um, I'm telling you though, the reason why they're doing the controller support is because they're bringing New World to console. I'm telling you, it's happening. I bet Jay is saying the same thing right now. He's like preaching it. He's like console, but New World's coming to console. I I bet it. I bet it. I don't know if it's next year. He did say next year was a big year, but I think it's happening, chat. I really do. Uh, let's keep going. Also, we're doing not just in-game like gameplay support, but we're also doing UI support to mm -hmm. make it the UI operate and feel better with it. And I think that's come a long way already. Yep. Um, and that's something we'll be looking for a lot of feedback from all the players on, like, how does the controller feel? How can we make it better? Where should we push it? What should we do? Um, okay. Some other stuff we're focusing on, probably the whole year, but I want to, like, like, for the first part, for sure, Performance improvements. We've seen a lot of feedback on performance, and output rush feels like duty right now. Pretty massive efforts going on. Hot garbage. Uh, so I think you'll see improvements in the first part of the year, and more and more as the year goes on. Good. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of work uh, in that regard, and it's it's going to be ongoing. But like a lot of the the initial stuff is targeted to come out with season, uh, with with that season coming up. With season, season five. Yeah. Season five. Uh, okay. So this is in March. Season five is in March. Chat. The feedback. Uh, just just remember, like if. We hear it, it doesn't mean like we and all the players agree with it. So a lot of times we'll see like, hey, the fire staff is way too weak. And then the next one will say, hey, it's way overpowered. I know. Okay, we haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> yeah. No one's saying that. That's an example. I was trying to be very <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, but you often just, we see conflicting reports on stuff. Yeah. So we, we have to rely on the telemetry in many cases to look at it and say what people are using, what's their success rate and this and that. I think they need to know buff how much damage change. Serenity but does do with heavy attacks. Um, and then we're... Um, Two other big efforts for 2024, goals for the year. Okay. Bug fixing. Like, okay. we know that we have a lot of bugs in the game still. Yeah. Like, we've done a pretty good job of improving it, but not not anything that we're totally happy with yet. So we're going to continue to make that a huge focus, and we're probably even bigger than it's been. So you're, our goal is to, to push that curve angle way down. Squish those bugs. Uh, and then more quality of life stuff. And some of that just comes naturally with the controller. Adding the controller, we want to make sure it's easier to move around and play the game. So you're going to see a lot more of that coming. Salvage all. <laughs> I love that feature. <laughs> Season four feature. Um, but I think uh, oh, the, the what is takeaway this? we want you to have is... Hold on, hold on. Scott's going to talk about it, but i got to take a look first. All right, so this is like a little glimpse at the roadmap for February to 2024. So cross-server, group finder. So basically nothing's happening in January, chat. So yeah, I, I, we can take January off. <laughs> There's just nothing's in January. But from February to May, cross-server, expedition, group finder, seasonal trial with the Runeforge... Uh, season pass and rewards, gamepad support. Wait, there's a new season pass. Oh, because that's going to be happening in March, isn't it? New artifacts, eight new artifacts for season four. I, no, season five, I guess. So season five, to my understanding, is in March. This current season lasts until the beginning of March. Main story quest fully updated, seasonal events, performance, bug fixing, combat balance. Okay. Uh, May is the major announcement and the roadmap. All right, what do you think the major announcement is, chat? What is it gonna be? A new Outpush Rush map? It's New World on console, I'm telling you, dude. That's it, that's it. Uh, let's keep going. Come back in May to this video because we're gonna make a, you know, we're gonna have a lot to talk about in May. Uh, and I wish I could spill the beans now, but I'd get in trouble, so I can't. Mm. But we're really, really excited about it. Okay. Know? It's huge. At this point, we're going to say, huge. hey, everyone, put your questions here in the comments because May. tomorrow, January, February, March, April, the day May. after we uh, air this, we're going to be filming the, the community Q&A. Oh, okay. Anything else either of you want to add? See our shirts, how festive we are? Happy holidays. Happy yeah. holidays. Feel the might They're of frost. They're very cozy and warm. Um, that looking very festive. I think that's it. That's it. Swimming. You, you think I just announced swimming chat? Holiday. Stay warm, stay healthy, and we will see you all in a turtle. Bye. Okay. I mean, it could have been uh, it could have been more exciting, but it could have been less exciting as well. Uh, we've definitely had uh, less exciting videos. I do like a little bit of a glimpse into the future. Let's go back to that uh, this thing here. So yeah, sadly, or at least it's good to know, chat. May is when we can get excited. We're going to go into hibernation with New World. I did say I do think the play numbers and the general sentiment towards New World is going to be quite low. I think January is probably going to be our lowest play account for the game ever. But fingers crossed this announcement will be something exciting. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to get too hyped for it. 
Uh, and I do truly believe that, you know, that the reason why they're doing the uh, controller support is because they're shipping up for console. And the reason why I say that, because uh, why, Vegans, why would they bring you all to console? It barely works on PC. They want to bring another MMO. So they're making a Lord of the Rings MMO. Um, they, they, they're working with Embracer Group. It's not going to come out for many, many years, but the Lord of the Rings MMO is being published on console and PC or PC and console. The Lord of the Rings MMO is using the Azoth engine, which is what good old New World use, and it has a very similar dev team. It's it's the same dev team that works in California. It's the uh, the Orange County dev team, which is Scott Lane and the gang. It's probably going to be a few different people. It's not going to be the exact same devs on both MMOs, but I, I think New World in a roundabout way is a test bed at this point. It is like the features and the, the content and the stuff that they implement, like cross-server queuing, all of these features will hopefully be in at the beginning of the Lord of the Rings MMO, which is still many years away. But yeah, I, I believe that they want to get New World working on console so that they can then prove that they can have the Lord of the Rings working on console. So yeah, uh, it's going to be sp spiky though, you know, spiky, spicy. I don't know. We're in for some interesting times. But uh, yeah, that was a cool look at the video. Uh, it's good to hear something, chat. It is good to hear something. Gamepad support, seasonal events, uh, eight new artifacts as well. The um, I wonder if there's going to be another artifact life staff. I wonder what the other artifacts are. Uh, cool to see that they are doubling up though yeah good to see that they are doubling up on the, on the number of weapons so we'll have two artifact great axes now uh friends that is going to do it for this youtube video however if you guys enjoyed this one as always the old like and subscribe if you want to see some more baggins live i do stream on twitch many hours for many days uh, we'll put a link to the stream in the description down below uh, but that is it i'll catch you guys all in the next video